Hey everybody, Freightliner Team Run Smart Pro Jimmy Navarre is coming to you in another one of my videos here on the trailer issue, uh, having started from us getting one stolen and some of my learning experiences coming through. So, went with the last video showing you the trials that we've gone through to try to replace that trailer in such a hard market to get equipment. Um, so, of course, one of the trailers I had mentioned we picked up from out in Detroit from a friend of a friend, thank goodness, that was the first one we were able to secure to try to replace that stolen unit. Um, now, in doing so, that driver, a uh, friend of ours, didn't have to have skirts because he never ran California and just ran it semi around where he lived out there. So, wasn't too concerned and didn't ever put them on. So, here in California, where my fleet's based, it's required. So, always looking to try to get it done trying to find ways to do things myself a lot of times because I'm a hands-on kind of guy. I looked in the, uh, across eBay, Craigslist, all different kinds of classifies to see where I might be able to find even a used pair of Duraplate skirts or something like that. I actually came across on eBay this little ad, and it shows some skirts that are nice, semi-rigid, and it says they're located in Ontario, California. Well, that's not too far from where we're at, so... Got in touch with them, gave them a message, communicated back and forth, and sure enough, they've got a whole kit to be able to do it on your own, and fits in the back of my pickup, so I shot down, grabbed it, wanted to try it out, and I have to say, they seem pretty good. We're, we're going to test this set out and see how it does, so uh, more to come on that, but figured I'd share a little bit with you on my DIY skirts. You know, I put on my own skirts and want to try it out, so if I can do it, believe me, anyone out there can do it. Uh little cordless drill and some hand tools that was all it took so put together a little slideshow here just to show you my little bit of what i went through just to put it on the whole process probably took about three hours total this is of course the first piece on the front and you can see i have a jack propped up to help uh, just support the weight and keep it even it's easier if it's a two-person job i didn't have the option of a second person so the jack was my little helper and became my second person. Now that we've got one piece hung and going to lower the jack, it looks pretty good, looks pretty solid, and five more pieces to go. There's some of the pieces there and what the trailer looked like without the skirt, getting ready after that first piece to bring them over. And we've gone along the process a little bit there, probably about an hour into this side. Um, getting all four of the five pieces on this side, you can see some of the tools I used uh, to help me get things into position and knock the back of things into position. But all in all, a pretty easy process, and the, the battle was won because here you'll actually see where I'm getting ready to hoist up the fifth piece on this side. They're a five-piece skirt, and they seem pretty durable, uh, lightweight. And there you have it. Five pieces on, five pieces for the other side to go, and... You know, by lunchtime we had this done and ready to roll for that driver that was coming to pick it up. So you can do it too. You can get your skirts done. May not be so close to Ontario, California, but I've seen a few other kits out there from back east that would have cost more to ship here than me just to go down and pick them up in my pickup. So I like doing things myself. You might too. You might even consider getting your own skirts put on yourself and take a few hours to do so. A uh, little DIY for you. So until next time. Be safe out there, everybody, and keep it rubber side down.